Hey guys, I am going to do a little tutorial for how to make a sign painter's window painter's guide. So strap on your bifocals and let's get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna share a little Adobe Illustrator screen here. So I'm gonna start with a regular old letter size artboard. I'm going to change this as soon as this opens. Um, Command O, no, Shift O. Shift O gives me artboard control. I'm going to delete this artboard. I have some specs I'm going to be referring to. So let's see here. So the dimensions of this, I'm going to put these in up here, width and height. The dimensions are 35 inches tall, 35 space IN, and the height is 35 wide, excuse me, and 41.5 tall inch. Oh, okay. So there's my dimensions that I have to work with. Um, I'm going to start out by making a bit of a guide layer. So I'll come to layers here and um, I'm going to title this one artwork. The next one guide. The guide in the back and now I'm going to draw some shapes because I need these. These are going to be all caps. These need to be five inches tall, so I'm just going to start with a five inch square. And I'm going to set the fill to a magenta and set opacity to 10%, just because I just want this little ghostly guy. Okay, so select this, and I'm just going to draw the full width. I have five, five lines that I need to fit. So I'm just going to duplicate this five times by holding, or four times to get five lines by holding the option key and then dragging. That's how I copy and then command D. I'll do that again in case I lost you. Option, click, drag. I hold shift so that it doesn't go all over the place. And then I'm just going to hit Command D to duplicate that each time. Now I need these to be separated by 1.5 inches. So if I go over to the Align palette and I... Uh, come on, where are we at? I choose align to key object, and then I can choose distribute spacing, and I can just type 1.5 inches and choose vertical distribute space. So now this, I have five inches for each line and an inch between, inch and a half between each one. So I'm just going to group that and center it on the page. And then I'm going to go into my artboard, excuse me, my layers, and lock that. Now come to my artwork layer, and I'm going to paste in all my type. I have this from a, from a copy, and I will paste. Obviously this is much too small, it's okay. So I'm gonna select this and choose my font. And I think DIN Pro, DIN Next LT Pro Medium Condensed will do the trick. I also need this centered. And um, I can set my font size I come to the character palette here, I can set my font size to five inches and it will automatically 
make it 360 points, but type is not always exactly the inch that you set. So what I am going to do, um, let's see. One thing that I can do, if I want this spacing to be the same across all of these, I can go right here. You've got the letting, and I can do five inches plus 1.5. And what that did, it converted it to points, and then it dropped them. You see they're all perfectly aligned with the bottom of this text. So now I can come in here and increase the point size until these fill the height perfectly. So my problem now is that this is too wide, but that's okay, because I think these dimensions are actually supposed to be inverted. So this will be a quick, easy thing to do. I got on my artboards palette and select my artboard. artboard options, I can switch the orientation. So click OK. Now this actually is like perfect. So I don't need this uh, guideline to extend. It'd be nice, but it's not a good deal. I want to keep this margin consistent. And so now what I'll do is grab my tracking and I'll just increase tracking until it kind of fills that out. OK. Now for simplicity in printing this, I'm going to go Object, Create Outlines. Now this is going to get taped onto a window and then traced. So I will select this, go to Transform, right click, Transform. Edit. You know, I don't ever do it like this. So I'm going to click the O key, which allows me to mirror it. So I can mirror it any kind of which way. But that's the way I want it mirrored. It's right like that. So now I will make sure this is centered on the page. Looks pretty good. So now I will go File, Save As. I'm painting template, and I'm just going to save this as a PDF. Smallest file size, save PDF. OK, OK, OK. And then that's ready to print, tape up, and trace. Thanks, guys.